Hello all, I am Dr. Ravar Sanjanbal. In today's class, we will discuss about the construction of Turing machine. We have already discussed about the acceptance mechanism, the formal definitions, everything in the previous classes. But in today's class, we will discuss how to construct a Turing machine. See. Here's the question. Construct a Turing machine for the language a to the power n, b to the power n, such that n is greater than or equal to 1. Okay. The construction of Turing machine is very easy. See how. Here, now I am selecting, now I am selecting a string, means valid string. Valid string is just like what here? A, A, B, B. Okay, A, A, B, B are, this is called blank symbol. This is called blank symbol. Why I just add the blank symbols? I have already discussed in the previous class. Blank symbol means, it is just an indicator, means when a Turing machine will read blank symbol, then it will, means the string, means uh, the Turing machine will accept the, this string, or the string is accepted by the Turing machine. Okay, so this is the concept. And another thing, every Turing machine has both read and write capabilities. So when the Turing machine read A, when the Turing machine read A, just write as X. Suppose now I'm selecting A for X and B for Y and B for Y. Means when the Turing machine read A, write as X and when the Turing machine read B, write as Y. Means this is the read and write capabilities. You can take any number, you can take UV. Means when it, uh, when a Turing machine read A, write as U. When the Turing machine read B, write as V. You can take any numbers, uh, sorry, any symbols. But I am just taking X and Y for A and B. Okay. So another thing, when I will construct the Turing machine means L, A to the power N and B to the power N, I just read, I just read one symbol from all number of A's at a time. One symbol means here there are two A's and two P's. Means at a time I will read one A from all A's and one B from all P's. Okay. So that means I'll for the first time, first time I'll read this A and this B means first A and first B. Then for the second time, second time TD machine will read the second A and second B, second A and second B. Okay. Suppose there are three B A, three B. So TD machine will read, read, read first time, first A, first B. For the second time, you will read second A, second B. And for the third time, Turing machine will read third A and third B. In this way, Turing machine will read when means for A to the power N and B to the power N language. Okay. So now we will see and we will construct. That means when it will read A, when the Turing machine will read A, write as X. And when the Turing machine read B, write as Y. In this way, we can write. Okay, so now I am writing here again. I am writing a a sorry a b b capital B capital B means blank symbol. Okay, so I am constructing say here initial state is here q0 q0 is my initial state q0 read first a. Q0 read first A and write as X and goes to Q1 state. Q1 state. So Q0 read A, write as X. And here, for the first time, what is the concept here? For the first time, Q0 read first A and first B. So when, how Turing machine will read this B? Then it will move towards, it will move towards right. Means read A and move towards right. And read A and move towards right. Okay. So it will move towards right. Okay. Then read A. Because Turing machine already reads 1A. 
already reads one so when read the second it just skip skip means just read a and write as a so suppose there may be multiple number of pages there may be multiple means three number of pages like three b like three h three b and blank symbol so read a and write as x and read read a write as a skip skip second a and skip third a skip means what read and write as the same symbol that means here skip a skip a means read and write as same symbol means read a and write as a read a write as a means just like a loop so here read a write a and it move towards right so it move towards right okay so read a write a read a write a means skip a skip a then it will read b then here it will read the first b first read when it will read b write as y see here then goes to q two step read b and write as y see here read b write as y then it move towards left because it already reads the first a it already reads the first sorry first b it already reads the first b so that's why it move towards left it move towards left how see here when it will read when it move towards left then then the q now q2 state q2 state will read this a and it will skip read a skip right a and move towards left and move towards left so read a and move towards left when q2 now i am in q2 state so let i am again writing here x a y b i am using some other color now i am here x a y b capital b okay so now my string looks like this okay so i am in q2 state when q2 but here i am in here when q2 read q2 read this x when q2 read this x it will move to us again right when read x and write as x and write as x and move to us right and move to us right then q2 then q0 q0 read again this a now q0 q0 read a and write as x q0 read a write as x and move to us right here move to us right when it will read y it will just skip it will just skip and skip means read and write as same symbol see here there may be multiple number of y's so that's why y y r okay why need to read y it is just skip then q1 then q1 q1 read b q1 read b right as y right as y then move towards again left move towards left then q2 now q2 read what q2 read the next symbol y and move towards left so y y l y y l means it just skip y read y and skip y then q2 q2 read x q2 read x write as x write as x that means my symbol is here i'm writing now my string looks like x x y y b so now i am in here now i am in here q0 so q2 read x so in q2 read x and write as x and move to us right then q0 q0 will read what a 
जीरो विल रेड सॉरी क्यू जीरो वाइल रीड वाई सी आर क्यू जीरो रीड वाई एंड राइट एच वाई एंड स्कीप एंड मूव टूअर्स राइट जस्ट स्कीप रीड वाई एंड स्कीप इट रीड वाई एंड स्कीप इट इज जस्ट लाइक ए लूव सो आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग क्यू थ्री वाई वाई आर ओके देन स्कीप दिस वाई स्कीप दिस वाई एंड Q3 will read this blank symbol. When Q3 when Q3 read blank symbol, it just write blank symbol and move towards right. So this is Q F F. Oh sorry. This is Q F. Okay. So now the string is means A B B is accepted by the given Turing machine. This is the procedure for the construction of Turing machine. Okay. So this diagram is called as this diagram is called as transition diagram. Transition diagram. Okay, so we can represent every Turing machine in two ways: either transition diagram or transition table, or transition table. So if transition diagram is given, we can construct transition table. If transition table is given, we can also construct transition diagram. Okay, now we will construct the transition table. So how to construct? See here. I'm just erasing this one, erasing this top. See. So in the left side, just see how many number of stairs here. There are five stairs. Q zero. Q1, Q2, Q3, Qf. Okay. In the upper part, how many number of tape alphabets? The tape alphabets are A, X, B, Y, capital B. A, B, X, Y, capital. Okay, now I'm constructing here transition table. Transition table. See here, Q zero read a, Q zero read a. I'm using some other color. Q zero read a, and goes to Q one state. Goes to Q one state, and X R. I write as X and move towards right. Q one X. R for Q one B no Q one will not read Q one for Q one X no Q one Y S Q one read Y goes to Q three and write Y and move to a side Q three Y R Q J read blank symbol no then Goes come to Q one. Q one read a goes to Q one instead. Q one A R. Okay. Then Q one read B S goes to Q two. Q two Y L. Then Q one read Y S goes to Q one. For X, there is no thing. There is nothing. Then Q1 read Y goes to Q1 state. Q1 Y R. Then Q1 read blank symbol. No. Then Q2. Q2 read A goes to Q2 state. A L. 
then q to read v nothing q to read x goes to q0 x uh, then q to read y goes to q2 yl q2 yl then q to read blank symbol no nothing then q3 q3 read a nothing q3 read b nothing q3 read x there is nothing q3 read y goes to q3 yr q3 yr then q3 read blank symbol goes to qf qf blank symbol r then this is halt okay so in this way we can construct the transition table for the given transition diagram or we if transition table is given we can also construct a transition diagram okay so this is the construction of transition table and transition diagram in the next class we will discuss about some different types of turing machines means turing machines some different types of languages okay thanks for watching